Are you excited about today? Yeah, I am. Okay, cool. That's awesome. All right, let's get on it. All right, guys, this is one of those days that the summer leaguers dread. Today was the butterfly stroke. And I always have my kids recite to me the following. Coach. Coach. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Of butterfly. Of butterfly. There's a few things to keep in mind with butterfly. Number one, butterfly is actually no harder to swim than any of the other strokes. It's really not, if you do it right. If you don't do it right, then yeah, it can be pretty tough. But if you do it right and you keep certain things in line, then butterfly can be a pretty enjoyable, fast and efficient stroke. And uh, a lot of kids will love it after they learn how to do it properly, but you gotta do certain things right. First thing that I teach them is that butterfly is, it's got a little quirk to it. And the quirk is, is that it's easier to swim fast than it is slow. If you're going to try to do butterfly slow, you have got a long, hard journey that, that you're going to try to put your body through if you're going to try to do slow fly. So we, I make sure that everybody understands that this is a, not only is the stroke fast, but it's a stroke that you have to approach like it's fast in order to really be successful. Also, another big thing that, that will mess up butterflies is that they try to swim it too deep. And butterfly is actually a shallow stroke. It swam at the surface. It's like taking a stone or a rock or something, trying to skip it across the top of a lake, like you're on a jet ski or something, skipping across the top of a lake. That's the way you want to approach butterfly, is that you've got to keep it shallow and you've got to keep it fast. And if you keep those two things in your mind, then the stroke really isn't that scary. All right, another piece of the puzzle that I like to teach them is making sure that they keep their thumbs down. Now, when you don't keep your thumbs down, here, here's, here's kind of what the process is. You want your stroke to be long and flat. All right, and that's the way you want the stroke. Yes, it does have a wave-like motion that goes through it, but it's not the dominating force within the stroke. All right, so you wanna make sure that you have a long, flat stroke that actually skips across the surface. And one of the biggest things that I have found that actually hinders someone's development is having their palms down. When your palms are down, the tendency of a developing breast or butterflyer, the tendency is for them to dive those hands in way too short way too uh, close in front of their body. And when that happens, that downward dive happens right there, it causes way too much of an undulation, way too much up and down occurs, all right? And you're not gonna have that long, flat stroke when you've got this motion going on that's causing you to take way too many strokes and you're not going nearly far enough per stroke. So you wanna lengthen that out. The easiest way that I have found to actually help kids lengthen their stroke out is to actually have have their thumbs down while swimming the stroke. When they come around with those thumbs down, it puts their arm and their shoulder in a different position and it allows for that long flat stroke. The next piece of the puzzle is I actually take breathing out of the equation at the very beginning. Butterfly, it's the trickiest stroke to swim with breathing is butterfly. You actually have to put the breath into the stroke. And the danger zone is that a lot of times when kids put the breath into the stroke, they actually lift their head straight up to such a degree that they actually flatten out their spine and they stop all of their forward momentum. So they're, they're literally swimming it like one stroke at a time trying to keep their body going. That's a killer. That will kill you in butterfly. So you wanna make sure that you breathe properly by when the stroke comes through, actually breathing forward with your stroke, sneaking that head up to catch your breath and then it's back down. If you slam your head up to take a breath, you flatten your spine, you've stopped your momentum and the stroke itself actually becomes terrible. It becomes horrible to try to swim because you're stopping yourself in between every stroke. All right, I've been told that my jokes are turning into riddles. So I'll just I'll just stay with the <laughs> That's not fun. We'll try we'll try Chris again on this one. All right, you ready? All right. Why did the nurse bring a red pen to work? So she doesn't get blood on it? No, nah, to draw blood. Ah, oh, I was close. I was yeah, close. You, you, said, you said blood. <laughs> So at the very beginning, very beginning, the way that I teach it is I want them to just lay out the strokes. So they stand in this position 
in the shallow end with their arms out, thumbs down, and then they all they do is they, they lay out one stroke forward. Really, it's just a half stroke. They're just bringing their arms forward and they're laying it out into a nice glide. Then on the next one, they start in the exact same position in the shallow end. They lay it out with their head down and then they come through with another stroke and they just lay it out nice and long. And it makes it a very relaxed approach to where they don't feel like they're, having, oh, it's fly day, so we gotta swim a 500 fly, you know? So it takes the anxiety out of the approach. So that's how we approach the stroke today, is that I taught them the basic arm motion, keeping your thumbs down and making sure that your hand entry is no wider than your shoulders. You don't want them to come all the way in and like crack your wrist. You know, that's, you're actually overemphasizing the stroke and you're having to correct yourself before you can even begin the actual stroke motion. The kids will dive in, maintaining that speed, super important to have that tight streamline, strong dolphin so they've got their speed that they rip onto the surface and they do just one stroke. Right? They do one stroke and then that's it. Then we, then we get out, we walk around and keeping our head down, we dive in, tight streamline, strong dolphin, and with our head down, no breath, we rip out two strokes. Boom, boom, and we keep that speed going. Then we walk around and we do three and then we do four. You know, and we got a tight streamline, strong dolphin, and we rip into four strokes with our head down. Once I get them with the speed ripping onto the surface and they can do two, three, four strokes consecutively, maintaining that speed without taking a breath, and they can see that they can rip the strokes out pr pretty shallow, pretty fast, and it's not painful and it's not scary, you're well on your way to actually doing a complete 50 or a complete 100. It's the same approach. It's just you learn how to breathe and then it's, you know, you just got to build up to it. But it's really not scary as long as you keep it shallow and you keep it fast. All right. And th th I'm telling you, those are the tricks. I promise. Those are the key components. That's the thing that separates um, people who hate fly and people who love fly. People who love fly can rip it out fast. People who hate fly, they keep it deep. They do a deep stroke and they don't turn it over very fast, but they can become someone who loves fly just by changing a couple little things. So I hope that helps you out. Hope you learned a little bit from that and I hope you all turn into I love fly kids. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. You got a joke? You want me to try on the coaches? Leave those below because I'm running thin right now. I've only got like two or three more on, on backload. Now I need some more. I need you guys to help me out. So I hope you guys are doing well, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Don't be scared to fly. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Check out yesterday's video down below. If you have any questions or comments, then please ask. I'd love to help you guys out throughout your season. And give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying the series.